What is it there, guys? This is Kelb. And fuck aggro decks, alright? Got a quest to do on Mage and Hunt them. Can't be asked with that shit. Try to record a little bit of that just now. Can't be asked. It's time to play anti aggro priest. And you know what? Actually, we should probably have a little bit of a look at the deck list first. I enjoy the challenge of trying to get priest to work. Because priest sucks right now, okay? Well, okay, yeah. It, it, it sort of sucks. Fuck aggro decks. Anti pr <laughs> anti priest aggro deck, anti aggro priest deck. All right, couple of bookworms. Fucking awesome card introduced with uh, with Karazhan. If you're holding a dragon, destroy an enemy minion with three or less attack. It's just supremely fucking good. We run one in tomb, and one nether spite historian. We do that so we can actually just kind of look our way into some late game. We do have Chilmore and Yesera, so we do have some built in late game. Um, Chill Morgan, great fucking defensive card for a deck like this. The entire deck is basically defensive, alright. But in Tomb and the Nether Spite Historian, basically exist in the deck to give us some kind of late game. We can just discover it with the with the Historian, and we can just steal some of their late game with our in Tomb. Double Shadow Madness, double Shadow Ed Pain, double Doomsayer, and the rest is just your standard defensive style dragon cards. It's gonna be fucking awesome. This deck has like a 1% win rate against anything with like more than three uh, major late game threats because, you know, they just start playing shit. And once you're in tombs, gone. And the deaths are gone, you're just sort of fucked. But if this is Beast Druid, I must protect we should have a pretty good time. I'm just gonna assume that it is. I'm just gonna mulligan as if it's fucking Beast Druid. What should be like the only astral druid in the world other than me queuing? And I'm not queuing right now, but when, when I play druid, I generally play astral druid. Okay. Raven? Play the fucking raven, man. Be beast druid. Oh, God. Okay, I'm a little bit scared now. Might not be beast druid. But we're already, already holding fantastic cards. Do with an aggro druid? Just gotta hope that there is, that it is one now. It could be. It actually is a fucking aggro druid. Okay. Do I want to doomsay now? I think I do. I think I was going doomsay right now, man. Why is he running a mechanical yeti though? Is it like token druid? I should stop saying Beast Druid then, but it's a similar archetype. Is in they just do aggro things. It's fine. What if it's like Nazoth Druid? <laughs> now I'm just like completely thrown off right now by this mechanical dude. What do we draw? It's a good draw, it's a good draw. Let's just play on cave, because we're under no pressure right now. As long as he doesn't run out like a fucking four attack minion. Which could happen. It's 10 5. Draw. I didn't expect that! Okay, I want them to play the Raven at least. Yeah, get fucked, Raven. <laughs> This card, man, is so fucking strong. Do you know that? It's so good. I mean, it's like Shadow Word Pain. And a 4 mana 3 6, basically, like, wrapped into one card. I love it. Why has he got all these 4 attack shits, man? He's making me feel useless right now. Being a priest. I feel like I should heal these guys. I should have probably drawn first, but whatever, I should have. Yeah, I should heal these guys in case of uh, in case of swipe. I think healing there is best. Am 
Man, you ever just appreciate the funky music in the background of the Hearthstone from time to time? <laughs> okay. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? That is the greatest answer. Okay, so I'm gonna play this up. Yeah, run this up. Another bookworm on Malagos. Okay. Will Malagos ever be that good for me? Hmm. I'm just gonna go for the other bookworm, dude. Oh my god, he's gonna concede. He's so upset right now, do you know that shit? He's like, fuck it, it's it's 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Small Eminem reference then. And he can't be asked with this shit, you know? Oh, that's actually still completely fine. That's actually still good. Yeah, man. This is a good time to use Shadow Madness, I think. Just for the old double whammy effect, you know? I should have drawn first again. Shut up. Alright. I know you guys love to point out misplays. You guys love it. You guys can't help yourselves, alright? I don't give a damn. <laughs> when it comes to misplaying Hearthstone, I don't give a damn, dude. I don't give a- I'm the kind of guy who, if I have my opponent at like 3 health, and I can just fireball him for lethal, if I'm holding Yogg's on, I'm gonna play that fucking Yogg's on, man. God, that's a misplay. It's a fucking children's card game, who gives a damn, man? Let's go, you know? Okay. Uh, I guess Cadro's actually better. Are you mocking me? Sirk. Look at this, man. Oh my goodness. You see, this deck has like very, very slow paced win conditions, I right? See. We've got one Ysera, the Chilmore's more of a defensive card. We can Entomb and steal one of their guys, or we can discover a dragon. Like a good late game card with our um, Historian. But other than that, this deck really just doesn't have many win conditions. You just fucking choke your opponent out of the game, you know? And that feels good, because again, fuck aggro, alright? That guy wasn't really an aggro deck. He was sort of, kind of, an aggro deck. Um... Anduin versus more like a combo Brawl. slash aggro, I guess. For Doom Token Druid, you know? It's almost one that's a bit hard to pin down. This should be a good test, though. Fuck Shaman, man. <laughs> this, is, this is what Hearthstone's become for me, by the way. I got so annoyed trying to play these ultra-high control decks with, like, big, sick, awesome minions. Um... Just getting mullied by fucking, uh... Not even so much aggro shaman anymore, it's mid-range shaman and... Ugh. All the other imbecilic decks out there these days. Still, you know, Zulok mid-range shaman. That now, I just thought, fuck it, every deck I make is just gonna be like... A hardcore aggro counter. And if I lose to control decks, so be it. Be it so. I don't give a shit. Let them win, man, they're playing control. They, those honorable people. Really? You got fucking spell power straight away? You see? Fuck aggro, okay? See, this this brand of shaman likes to call themselves, Oh, we're mid-range, we're not aggro. Shut up, alright? They fucking are aggro. Everybody knows that they play just like an aggro deck. They play just like a zoo deck. Okay? Fucking get control of the board. They're like a zoo deck with weapons, okay? Fight for board control. As soon as you got board control, once it gets to like 10 4, 10 5, just stack on face. It's exactly what Zoo does. You know? It's maybe a little bit less minion heavy and focuses a bit more on spells from hand, but that's such a tiny difference, really. Alright. Then I'm still just gonna go ahead and consider it um, an aggro deck. I don't give a damn. 
Yes, you had a shit turn, sick. He shouldn't use his last weapon catch, really. Yeah, he didn't. It's not a bad draw. Against this mongoloid. I'm really determined to beat this guy now, because this deck is literally just fucking designed to take on these mongoloid, uh, you know, mid-range shaman decks. Aggro shaman, basically. Alright, shut up. It's been misbranded. It's perverted, the term mid-range. Hmm. It's an aggro deck with, like, a couple of six drops, okay? What the fuck is that doing there? Okay, well, completely misjudged it. There you go. It's a dragon shaman that runs flame tongue and fur claws. I mean, I should have known. Um, I mean, I'm sweating to Holy Nova right now, but I really shouldn't. It's just not good. And I do want to shield this, I believe. Okay. Got to hold on to this uh, Azure Drix. So I can get the chill mod there next turn. Oh, but he's... Oh, see, fuck. That's the problem, man. Any game that's likely to have quite a bit of late game, like this deck, is very, very likely to have hexes. And many of them. Which is bad for our poor little chill mod. Yeah, turn it all frog, man. I wonder. <sighs> well, he's wondering. Oh, okay, he's about to make his blimp. <laughs> Is he gonna double Maelstrom bottle me? That wouldn't be that bad, really. Okay, he's not. Okay. You can see the trades that he's gotta make here. I want to go ahead and just talk for a moment while why are we secluded from the main channel a little bit. Because the main channel gets a lot more heated than this one, you know what I'm saying? And I like to do, you know, just sometimes have a, have a natter with you guys. Let you all know what's going. Fuck, give me a moment. <laughs> uh, Holy Nova's okay, but it's not quite good enough, I feel. Damn, this is hard. We sort of waste the healing value. Ah, oh, this isn't a good Holy Nova, dude. It's really hard to discern whether that was a good Holy Nova or not. Really, really hard to discern. This might seem insane, but I might actually just take the Twilight World. Video that went up on the channel today, or well, yesterday that I uploaded, from the from the point of view of right now, anyway. I uploaded a video quite recently, anyway, talking about um, how difficult it is to maintain alt characters in Legion. Now I've made a couple of videos, just talking videos similar to this one. You know, I made one things I like about Legion. I made one talking about um, how I think that prestiging in 7.1 and the changes in patch 7.1 to prestiging are actually in my opinion extremely unhealthy for the game you know I like to make these talky videos every now and again well I'm not going to make those videos anymore <laughs> I'm done making those videos dude I'm so done making those videos you know why because it doesn't matter how literally, literally correct I am. Like the, like the most recent video, right? 
ulting in Legion is undoubtedly the most difficult it has ever been probably in the history of World of Warcraft. What can you do when there's that hex we're talking about? Ulting is just so fucking hard in Legion, right? I, I want to say it's impossible to maintain two characters at optimal levels in Legion. Even just two characters. And I explained all the reasons why. I'm, I talked about it a lot during the course of the video. It looks like we actually just can lose. Exfated Evil would have been a lot better than holding over here, but... So anyway, in these videos, yeah, I talk a lot. Um, oh shit, there it is. Is it too late? I think it's too late. because We're going to be one mana short of being able to heal ourselves. Maybe he'll miss it. Fuck it. Are you mocking me? Something tells me he's not going to miss it. Make these videos where I like talk about shit like that. And the last video I want to use is the example. That's the one talking about ulting in Legion. It's just impossible to fucking disagree. That ulting has gotten a lot more difficult in Legion. I explain why perfectly in that video. Maybe not perfectly, but pretty fucking well, right? Ugh. And yet, it seems like no matter how I... How well I explain things, and how much thought I put into these videos where I'm just talking about shit or expressing concerns... People find a way to just hear whatever the fuck they want to hear. <laughs> if that makes sense. They will literally take, like, a third of a sentence or they'll pluck one word out of a phrase that I said in the video. I'm Usually in the first three this. minutes of the video as well. They, people tend not to watch the entire extent of these videos, which is sort of not good either, you know? People watch like the first two minutes of the video, pick out like one sentence from that, and then proceed to begin raging in the comments. And I feel like I've been misunderstood. I'm like, no, we're... we're, we're I, I talked about this in the video, like, did, didn't you hear me when I talked about, when I said that this and this and this? Um, for example, there are, <laughs> there are comments in the most recent video, um, talking about ulting in Legion. Oh, lowly, it's funny to see all these, um, all these vanilla supporters, all these Nostalgia supporters complaining about grinding in the game. I talked about the, the Surama reputation grind about 30 seconds of the 18 minute video. You know what I'm saying? You can see how I might feel a little bit misunderstood at that. I'm just like, what, what, what about the other 17 and a half minutes of video where yeah, I really didn't draw that much attention to um, to the Surma rep grind. Like, why, why is he honing in on that, you know? And I can't help but feel like it's because generally speaking, People just like to hear whatever they want to hear, you know? Um, and obviously comparing the grindiness of Legion to the grindiness of, like, Vanilla WoW or TBC is so obviously a flawed argument to me that I don't even need to, I don't even need to take the time to explain it, right? Um, I, trust, I trust you guys on this channel who aren't just subscribed for the montages, for example, you know? I'm assuming you're subscribed because you enjoy just chilling. Um, I, I assume I don't have to explain things like that to you guys, and it's just fucking bizarre to me, right? And I upload these videos where I'm talking about shit, I just feel so misquoted and misunderstood. And even if the comments aren't directed at me, it's people just raging at each other. Um, and it's just a, it's just a sad little experience, really. Oh my god. Okay. We need to draw a dragon right now. It's not a dragon. How have we not drawn a dragon, dude? I literally just have to take 10 damage. I have to. I have to just take 10 damage. He needs to play nothing this turn. I need a dragon for the taunt on the team, so. Okay, see ya! You have best. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of there. But I don't know, does that make sense? Like, I don't know, I don't know that many people have that much experience with this, where you say one thing, and everyone will just take it their own way. If you've ever been involved in Facebook drama, 
it sort of feels like that as well. Um, you know, w one of your friends posts up, you know, a status about, I don't know, maybe they're going through a breakup. They post up a status, um, they're saying like, holy shit, I'm, I'm glad that this relationship is over, you know, blah 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 blah. She did this, she said this to me, I couldn't believe the way she trapped my friends. She was a bitch. Okay. And you're kind of watching it with indifference, you might be goading him on a little bit like, yeah, go on Sean, kick it, you know, you tell her, you know, over Facebook via a status, which is quite immature really, and you shouldn't really be doing that, but go on Sean anyway, you know. And then all of her friends will pile in with... <laughs> With her point of view, and with her perspective. Job's done. And they just... It's almost like... It's almost like both sides of a Facebook argument like that, in like a comments war, are just literally deaf. You know? The other side posts the status, they block their ears, blah 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 blah, they just don't listen to a fucking word, you know? And then as soon as they see that status, they get all pissed off and... Oh, she's trying to say I'm wrong! Blah 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 blah, and they start raging back. If you've ever been involved in that on Facebook, let me tell you, man, it really isn't fucking fun. Um... And that's how it feels uploading one of those talky videos. So I think I'm just gonna straight up refrain from doing them. This don't feel good to me anymore. Don't feel good to me anymore. Which is sad, because I quite enjoy doing them. I quite enjoy doing them. But it seems like, unless I'm just fucking ass licking the game I've never I've never deliberately made a video where I'm just like fucking you know um where I've been like paid to say good things about the game or some bullshit like that you know but um I don't mean it like that but for example the video where I was talking about oh why I think Legion is fucking awesome you know I made a video about that talking about all the things I really really like about Legion everyone was fine with that everyone was fine with that I got a couple of comments saying, oh my god, lol, he's being paid by fucking, you know, <laughs> he's being paid by Blizzard to say these things, there's no way you really think this. It's like, alright. Get the fucking tinfoil hat off, you know what I'm saying? Well, that one went down just fine, but it seems like the moment you air, even just a few words of critique towards uh, World of Warcraft, um... I know, people just get boners, man, in the comments and everyone just starts going crazy. It's not pretty, man. So fuck that shit, okay? If I ever want to, you know, air any complaints or anything World of Warcraft related, air my frustrations, vent a little bit, I'm just going to do it on this channel. Because I trust that you guys aren't... Magic shall not I'm just going to fucking misquote everything I say and blah blah blah, you know? Barbaric. Oh. I'm not gonna play out this. We have enough damage on board right now, and two of them are out of range of Hellfire, so. Should be okay. Let's get back to the Hearthstone, man. This is a fucking hand lock, dude. Not like a Reno lock. Almost certainly Reno lock. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed that he actually got that shit off. Um. Okay. What could he be? What could he actually play that would synergize with that? I've got to kill that. Actually, I've got to pen that. I don't really have much of a choice here. Take them out. So I don't know how we're going to fare against this. We're just going to hope that we keep on drawing into answers. I think we have to entomb either Sylvanas or Ragnaros to win this game. Maybe we'll have to take him to fatigue and just let him draw more cards than us. Oh shit. But I forget. Uh, Reno Lock runs combo, right? And he wouldn't have played that unless he was holding combo. How much damage is the combo? Leroy Jenkins, 6 damage, power overwhelming, that puts it to 10, it's a 20 damage base combo, 28 damage at the most, double power overwhelming, 14 damage, faces manipulator to double that, 
28 damage at the most. Mm. Wow, man, that is a fucking sickly combo, isn't it? It's a sickly combination. Okay, well, we'll just draw a bunch of cards. I don't think it's too bad. Seems like a decent play to me. So there's a chance that he runs Twisting Nether. That wouldn't be that good for us here. Pretty good Nether for him. Do you have Ysera as follow up though, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. Take your medicine. Okay, I'm shut up, Flynn. Alright. I'm happy to just use Sarah after this. There's a chance he hasn't drawn his one copy of Siphon Soul yet. I'm gonna save that. Ah, I think he totally has it. Maybe not. Eight cans in hand. Seventeen drawn. Okay, this is combo gone, so we don't have to worry about combo anymore. So, Alice in Tomb is Ysera. I think that's a fine in Tomb, really, to get the Ysera back. Again, I don't think it's the right time to buff this. I don't want to buff it then to, for it to get like fucked over by a Hellfire or something. So he doesn't have the Leroy Jenkins combo anymore. It's really good for us. Death for that. You see? Wouldn't have been a good power shield, man. Quite a hard decision. I don't think I'm gonna push damage. I th oh. If he's not holding Reno though, this puts the pressure on so hard. And this board doesn't die to any of his AoE anymore. I wield the power. Still. Unless he's holding like Demon Wrath and Hellfire. Um, then this doesn't die to his AoE anymore. And he did just spend Shadow Bolt as well, so this can't be Shadow Bolted. You might just have to Reno here, like tap Reno. I think that's what we're gonna see here. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be rich. I wasn't a bad impersonation if I do, if I do this for myself. We're gonna be rich. <laughs> okay. Yes. Get this out there while we've got our dragon synergies together. Need that nether spite historian, man. What could this be? I have no time for games. Shit. Do not actually have an answer to that. Doesn't have Shadow Flame still. Are you mocking me? I'm just gonna trust that he's not gonna find a way to steal this. Alright. I'm gonna believe. I choose to I choose to believe. He's beginning to believe. Alright. My eyes are open. His eyes are open. So, hit. Buck. Oh, Sylvanus. Death to the pretenders. Steel, man. Yeah. 
Okay, so this this play is statistically just the best, I think. I think it just works out for us most times. You know what I'm saying? I think this just works out for us most times. As long as uh, the Laughing Sister isn't stolen. Sick. Okay, so he's on a clock now. We're both pretty low on cards. But I can regen health more consistently than him at this point. And he's going to hit fatigue first if he keeps on tapping. Can't efficiently deal with that, though. It's all oh, shit, what a draw, dude. Oh, my God. Sick draw, man. Oh, my God. Can I just say this card, dude? This card right here. Bookworm. <laughs> what a card, man. Fucking hell. <clears throat> so good. He's panicking. He's likely holding a Jaraxxus. He's likely holding a Leroy. He's possibly holding uh, a Hellfire, which we've been playing around pretty well, I think, for most of the game. Demon Wrath is also a possibility. So many possibilities. No reason to play anything though. Okay, again, he's edging closer and closer towards fatigue here. We can still actually do this shit. We do have a wall of taunts set up. It's the excavated evils that get a little bit strange to use, though, when you get towards fatigue. You sort of spare them fatigue, you know? We need to draw another death. That's interesting, Okay, you Sarah? Still a good card. Once upon a time. Sarah. The end is coming. Now's a good time for us to push poles in the game. You face Jaraxxus and our lord of the yeah. Burning Legion. All right. Now this is a strange one for us. It's a strange moment in the game here. I dream of the world. I think I have to play the Ysera there. I'm not gonna have time after this turn, because he's summoning a 6-6 six, six every turn. You realize that lives? Are you nuts? Are you fucking crazy? It's not at the start. I shall bring you rest. That's how you throw a video game, dude. What the fuck was he thinking? Like, even if, even if I didn't have <laughs> your Sarah Awakens there. He had no other way to heal. He'd used Earthen Ring. He'd used his Cult Apothecary. He'd used what the fuck else. He used all of his healing cards. Refreshment Vendor, you know? Reno. Siphon Life. Fuck. Uh, Siphon Soul, rather. He used everything. How did he think that that was going to end up? You know what? Let's play one more game for luck, dude. That one's, that's put me in a, that's put me in a uh, jolly little mood, that one. Okay. So funnily enough, we've actually beaten the same amount of control decks, I feel like. We just didn't do that, didn't really face many aggro decks. I'm gonna hold the edge of to make sure the Blackwing Technician is a broken 3-5 um, for 3. Okay. That was an obscene, that was an obscene last game.
I was getting ready for like a fatigue war, you know, and having to really plan out when to play my taunts and my doomsayers and shit. And then he just went and self-destructed, man. It's an interesting one. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. You know what it is, don't you? Yeah, you know what it is. This right here is Ramp Druid, man. Possibly even Astral Druid. Does he have the Astral on him? Okay. Wow! Double Wrath! We might just have a chance! Surely one damage Wrath, Hero Power, Trade, like, keep the card draw coming in would have been better? My work is Unless he has Drew to the Claw this turn. If he has Drew to the Claw this turn, then... More power to the lad, you know? But that would be a pretty phenomenal curve. Innovate, 4 drop. Ramp up to 4 mana, double Wrath into 5 drop. Wow, man. Okay, he did care about, but it's not that bad. It's not so terrible for us. There's a chance he has swipe here, pal. That would suck a lot. That would suck a lot. We're really relying on him at least having a trade in here. Don't do it, man. The salt levels will start to build. Yeah. He actually has Cthulhu. So I need Entomb. I need to hold on to the Entomb now. It's not actually an option to play that card. I feel like I have no choice. Ugh. Doesn't feel good at all. That right there is anti-value. That was 9 damage to kill a 7 health minion. Split between 3 sources, including 2 trades. Ugh. Horrible value right there. I wonder. I wonder. Did I top deck swipe? I wonder. He didn't top deck swipe. He would have. He would have. He would have quick drawed that shit, man. He would have quick, quick drawed. That's a real word. He's got to make the trade. It's too good. What are you doing? Alright. Again, no swipe. Eventually the turn is going to happen where you draw a swipe and I'm going to be really upset. But he can't really call it top decking because he's needed it for like three to three or four turns now. Um, looks like we're okay again though. Like I say, he would play really quickly if he got it. Hmm. Everybody, 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 everybody. Oh man, I've been getting back into writing again recently. It's been good. Let me tell you. I was reading up about, um, I'm sure that most people have heard of uh, sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis. Oh my god, what a creepy topic that is. When you combine that with nightmares as well, Where oh my I god, that is a creepy topic right there. That's like an anti-value trade as well, really. Do you hear it? <laughs> Fuck you, little guy. Writing a story about a nightmare that I remember from a long, long time ago that I had. Sailing around on some kind of lifeboat. Inside a giant oil rig. Middle of the night. Spotlights over the water. All that kind of shit. We're on this lifeboat. We're evacuating people from this what oil rig. Are you my master? We get everybody on the damn lifeboat. Middle of the night. 
Did I say that already? Starless sky, you know what I'm saying? Ocean is like ink, it's just that dark, that black, you know? Getting back onto the lifeboat. Slip under the water. They don't even fucking notice, man. The lifeboat's just, just leaving me, you know? Water's freezing cold. Freezing my knob off, man. In that damn water. Hmm. Hmm. We're fucked. Not really. There it is. Anyway, start getting pulled under the water, you know? I don't know why I always remember this fucking dream. Start getting pulled under the water. Kicking my fucking legs, I've still got my damn clothes on, so I'm heavy anyway in the damn water, you know? Cold seeping into my bones. Start going under. One last... One last gasp of breath before I go under. Fuck, man, we are so fucking fucked in this shit fucking game now. <laughs> why can't you just be a flame strike, man? There's a goddamn turbine under the water, right? It's pulling me in. Can't do snot all about it. I don't know what to do here, man. Fuck it. And at some point during my descent, I realize that I'm dreaming. I become conscious of the fact that, yeah, I'm, I'm underwater. I can sort of see, like, the metal struts and the girders from the from the oil rig going all the way down into the, into the abyss below. And I can see this big turbine chugging away under the water. And it's creating, like, a whirlpool effect and I'm getting pulled down, you know, no matter how hard I kick my legs and struggle. Breath's running out, starting to rich for air, you know? That was a mistake. Fuck! Okay. Deck doesn't do very good against the game decks, let's fuck off. You have best. Anyway, I realize that I'm dreaming. I just, I just know that I'm dreaming. You ever get that sometimes? You know that you're dreaming? It's called lucid dreaming, when you know that you're dreaming, and you're able to remain within the dream. I didn't want to remain within this dream. <laughs> Alright, lucid dreaming is a beautiful thing, and it's a f Oh my god, man, if you ever had a lucid dream, it's just... Holy shit. You're a literal god within a make-believe world, you know, it's incredible. Realize that this is a dream, underwater, dying, drowning, getting sucked in a big-ass turbine. I don't want to get cut up by this turbine, but I want to wake up. So I consciously decide to just go <gasps> and just inhale water, right? And that should just woke me up. Now I was reading about sleep paralysis, and this is interesting because this is an experience I had as well, actually. Not on the same night as I had this nightmare, um, this mare dream, you know. But I'm actually gonna keep the bookworm. I'm actually gonna keep the full hand. Let's keep the full hand. I actually had this experience that apparently a lot of people have had with uh, sleep paralysis. What is what is it called again? Let me just let me just check really quickly. Um, is it incubus sleep? Or oh, the incubus attack? Okay, if you have such a thing called an incubus attack. That is when you wake up from a restless sleep, or it might be a bad dream, it might be a good dream, it doesn't matter. You wake up, and you're not really awake, but it sure as fuck feels like it, right? Your mind is waking up, but your body is still paralyzed by the part of your brain that literally does just paralyze your body while you're asleep and while you're dreaming. So that you don't hate yourself, so that you don't sleepwalk, so that you don't hate yourself in your dream by like lashing out or something, or like rolling off your bed or whatever. There's a part of your brain that literally paralyzes you, you know? Um, fuck it, I will kind of sound. Really interesting topic, this. So this part of your brain paralyzes the shit out of you, but you wake up, and you can't move. I'm not talking about you went to sleep on your arm and your arm's like dead when you wake up in the morning. Don't mean like that. I mean you literally are awake. You can just about open your fucking eyes. 
but you can't move a fucking muscle, right? Um, and I know for a fact I won't be the only person who's experienced this. I think most people experience it at least once or twice. Um, some people suffer with this shit chronically. An incubus attack is when you suffer from sleep paralysis, you wake up and you literally can't move. But whatever you were dreaming about, usually like a sinister dream, also leaks into reality. And it usually comes in the form of... Um... Feeling a pressure on top of you. And getting the sense that there is a presence with you within the room. How fucking creepy is that? Probably the wrong order, but whatever, man. What's the wrong order? Shut up. Um, how fucking creepy is that shit? Now, I had one of these experiences before, man. And this is kind of what I'm writing about. This is what I'm writing about in my story, anyway, you know. Um, I remember fucking waking up. And it's called an incubus, or sometimes a succubus, a succubus attack. Because it literally feels like there is a malevolent thing, or a person, usually of the opposite gender, that is on top of you, pushing you into the bed. You know? And it's just an illusion, because you're suffering from fucking sleep paralysis and you can't move, so you feel really, really heavy because of the sleep paralysis. So it is just an illusion. But my god, let me tell you from first-hand experience, that shit is fucking terrifying, and it feels real. It feels so real, dude. Like, I remember I woke up the next fucking day, and I was like, was there literally a fucking girl in bed with me last night? Oh, we just lost the video game, dude. You see that? I guess I just have to entomb it. Um, I remember I woke up, I feel this pressure on my chest, like there's someone, um, not, not in the, not in the sheets with me, but it's literally laying on, like, the sheets are over me like this, and there's somebody else laying on top of the fucking sheets, pushing me down, you know? And I remember it was... I remember all I saw was the top of her head. Didn't see her face. I knew I knew it was a person. I knew that it was a girl. But that's like literally all I knew. You know? I remember I kind of glanced down. Saw her, saw her arms kind of like over my shoulders like this. Like, uh, like over my shoulders like as she was on top of me. Face down into my chest. I could just see her fucking hair, you know? And it was so vivid, and it was so real, and it was so fucking terrifying, alright? And that's what I'm writing a damn story about. We got there in the end, okay? If you've ever experienced that shit, fuck, man. Honestly. That shit is next fucking level creepy. I think Hungry Dragon's actually the best, can you believe that? Isn't that sad? So I want him to break the divine shield so I can, uh, Shadow Madness. <laughs> Just take the fucking Ashbringer for myself, man. Usurp the shit out of that Ashbringer. But yeah, man. Oh, God. Oh, nightmares and sleep paralysis. And... Just Google it right now. Google... After watching this video, Google... Incubus attack. Google that shit, man. Pre be prepared to be fucking creeped the fuck out, dude. Let me tell you. That shit is fucking creepy, alright? Shit is really fucking creepy. Why are we facing so many control decks now, man? I face nothing but aggro whenever I don't record. Reporting for duty. Did it. Don't test me, child. By the oh. Get fucking absolutely wrecked, dude. Get destroyed. Give me that Ashbringer, man. Incubus attacks, man. Oh my god. Well, it's called Incubus because I suppose if it, um, if you feel the presence of a man on top of you in the middle of the night, then it's an Incubus attack. If it's a female who's in the room with you, then you get the picture. It becomes uh, an Incubus attack. Really, really creepy shit. 
Let's pave the way for this Ysera, man. I haven't focused at all. I can't even remember what moves I've made for the past, like, 2010s, dude. Just talking about dreams and... That creepy shit. Ooh, it's got me all feel- It's got me feeling all squirmy inside, man. Just remembering that and reciting that, actually. Waking up and seeing what I saw and a feeling that real, you know? Such a bizarre experience. Alright. Let's have one of those equality conscripts, if you please, Dark Lappin. A wild pyro equality will do. If you can't quite afford that. I'm just thinking about what I'm gonna write next now, that's it. I'm in like the I'm in like the writing mood, you know. I wonder. Poor characters in fiction, men. More like victims, to be honest. <laughs> Alright. Looks like you might not actually have the, uh, any... At least any way to activate his equality mm. and make use of it this turn. I have no time for games. Shit. Okay. Like to move okay. Damn, man. This isn't an easy turn. Because if he steals your Sarah, we immediately lose the game. Immediately. Okay. I mean, I could just play Northshire and go for a 50-50 here. It's a big, costly 50-50, however. I could even run out Azidric as well. To make it, like, super unlikely. Is someone injured? By the light. Oh, come on, dude. Alright. We went way over schedule here anyway. We went way over schedule here anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this massive, massive, over recorded. How long? We oh my god, look at how long it is. Fuck. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this massive, massive blob of Hearthstone. That was Super Ultra Mega Ridiculous Control Priest. With basically no late game. Oh, I clicked the wrong deck. Um, and built purely to beat aggro decks. Try it out yourself if you want. For now, I'm going to catch you guys a tab bit later. Thanks for chilling with me for a bit. And turn. Jesus Christ, man, they're fucking taking us out. we got to laser down the rest of the weapons, though. Oh, sweet, we just did it. Okay, Pingu, go and help repair that. Contact the civilian ship. The ship you saved was badly damaged in battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer.